right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, GSP, wildly popular, not just in his native Canada, but around the world. Many people, D.C., believe, pound for pound, that George St. Pierre might be the greatest UFC fighter of all time. He is one of the greatest fighters of all time. If there was an MMA Mount Westmore, George St. Pierre would be on everybody's list of top five fighters of all time. Just an ability to mix everything together. He was truly the evolution of mixed martial arts from the wrestling, the striking to the grappling. He was a guy that did everything and did everything well, and it made the level of mixed martial arts raise because everyone was trying to catch GSP. And I got good news right next to him on that Mount Rushmore. Daniel Cormier, raise that hand! Yeah, yeah, come on, John, don't do it. <laughs> Famer George Bush St. Pierre. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. All right, so here's the world beater, Hamzat Shimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponent. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon. Whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills. But it's the mindset of Hamza Chimaev that thinks separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Just about Ready. to get underway. Sure. All right, well, there's nothing quite like a George St. Pierre fight. I mean, how about the decibels in this building? As my man Joe Rogan might say, it is deafening in here. I can hear the Canadians from the rooftop. George St. Pierre's competing tonight, folks. There's no doubt about it. Overhand punch to the head, blocked, though, by Hamza Chimai. Oh, nice takedown defense. Lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything stuff. Oh, nice jab by Chimaya. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. That guillotine is tight. It's good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. 
Shimaev's in half guard. here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage off. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by George St. Pierre. He's gotta be oh. careful here. Horn out for the end of round one. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it Ready perfect. Ready. Round two here. Real nice body keep land. Oh, blocked the shot there and delivers the straight counter. He's had a huge strike right there sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh. Oh, he did a great job of it. Holy smokes. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by GSP. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. In the half guard. There it is. Now he's going to move. Chimaev getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. I need you to get back to guard. Nice positional control here. to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Under two minutes to go in round two. Oh, nice. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Hamza Chimaev. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. 
Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Round three of a possible five. How good was that? Big right hook there by the champ. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by GSP. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Champ, yeah. Fighters are inverted now on the ground. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not false. No reversal is not false. Everything they're doing is caught to the very last minute before it gets given up. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by GSP. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Mm, nice. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Nice defense. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by George St. Pierre. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Great job landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire. Oh, that is 
a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Hamzat Shimaev. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Shimaev's pass attempt denied. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on it. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> oh, slick reversal right there. Takes his back now. Beautiful transition. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Oh, right into Mount. He's got to be careful here. He's having his way with him here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Chimaev. Beautiful transition. He flattens him out. This could be trouble. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Great work with this round. Keep that pace up. Wow, I'm impressed. You really broke him down with your striking. Keep that gum. The inside low kick is awesome. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, to rushing to his finishes Ready. before his poor opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, effective strike there by Chimaya. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That was a slick transition. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Get the ball here. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Shimaev's back in full mount. All right, side control now. Under three minutes now to go round five. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. In the half guard. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Hamza Chimaya. Well, his ground and pound is on 
full display here tonight. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Under two minutes now to go on the fight. He passes to half guard. She might have ground and pound from half guard now. There it is, now he's going to mount. That was nice. Good work from the top here by Chimaya. This is where he wants to be. St. Pierre's in half guard now. Oh man, what a strike from the bottom. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. B. All right, so another dominating effort out of the UFC Hall of Famer, George St. Pierre. No surprise as the scorecards are rendered. GSP across the board by decision. Most times when George St. Pierre walks to the center of the octagon to get the decision ready,